Hey guys, even here. So, Ronnie Coleman just had uh, his, I believe this is his 13th surgery, back surgery. I'm pretty sure he had 12 before, and now this is the 13th one. 13 back surgeries over the course of how many? 10, 15 years, something like that. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's a lot. It's a lot of back surgeries. Don't you think so? So he put up this post here and obviously Ronnie, you know Ronnie, he's always positive, he's always smiling and laughing and then having fun with everything. He, he never looks on the dark side of life, basically. He always look, looks on the positive, on the bright side. He's always uh, grateful for everything that he has, which is a great mindset, which is an amazing mindset, seriously. I'm happy for him. And uh, here in this post right here, he's basically thanking this man right here, Big J, uh, for being his friend, for coming over to his hospital. I'm not gonna read the whole text, but I'm gonna read the last part, uh, what his doctor said. So let's read this. The doctor said that he replaced both cups uh, holding the titanium hook, and then he put a cage around both so that I'll be able to do leg presses without a problem. You all know I gotta do my leg presses to get these legs bigger, because he said in four to six weeks I'll be able to get back in the gym again. And you all know, once again, it's on like a pot of neck bones. I can't wait. The way he forms that uh, third sentence and the way he's basically writing right now, I can assume that he's on some heavy painkillers. Anyways, I'm sure you noticed the size of his arm and forearm and his entire body that you can see, his upper body. He looks bigger. He looks bigger. He looks fuller. Now, is this only an angle or did he actually gain some size back? I believe he did, I believe he did, but now he needs to go off of training for 4-6 to six weeks, but I'm sure after those 4-6 to six weeks he will be back in the gym training again, regaining the size back and then having another surgery, because he will probably destroy his back uh, during the workouts. <laughs> I'm just assuming, but it seems like that's the way, uh, it seems like that's the way it happens. He always keeps training hard and uh, he ends up in the surgery again, again and again and again. 13 surgeries so far. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you all are wrong who are saying that it is happening because he's uh, still training. Maybe it has nothing to do with him training. Maybe it's just something else entirely. But I wouldn't be so sure about it. I don't think so. I think he shouldn't train at all. I think he should reinvent himself, completely forget about bodybuilding. And that's just my opinion, but it's a, it's a big opinion. It's definitely something you don't say lightly. And I'm sure it's going to backlash. I'm sure this video is going to get a bunch of dislikes. But I'm okay with it. I'm just saying what I think. If you guys think the same, tell me down below. Hey, take a look at this as well. It's a video of himself post-surgery. Take a look. As you can see, I'm in the hospital again. I ended up going to the doctor today for some x-rays. X-ray didn't turn out too good. So they admitted me. And I've been here since 5 o'clock all by myself getting ready to do this surgery on my right hip early in the morning. So I guess I'll see you guys after all this is over. Well, once again, it's on. Yeah, buddy. That way, baby. That's just the way we roll. In 2020. And you heard the man. That's just the way we roll in 2020. And there you go, guys. Ronnie Coleman, the greatest bodybuilder of all time. Eight Mr. Olympia wins and 13 back surgeries, at least, that I can remember. If you think he had more than 13, tell me down below. Give me your thoughts about this whole situation down below in the comment section. Subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.